welcome back to another video. So today I got a 14 piece bundle and they're all Hard Rock Cafe. So shout out to previous videos there and there where I talk about Mercari, but I did get this bundle on Mercari. The person had a bunch of Hard Rock Cafe shirts. I hit them up. Um, I reached out through Mercari and Depop at the time was having a free shipping sale on like orders over a certain amount. So I brought them over from Mercari to Depop. Look, they already had an account and had them do the sale there. So I actually got free shipping on this. A little after editing, but from Mercari to Depop, I actually did get it for free shipping, but it's because the guy's shop had buy two, get free shipping. So I just added a shirt for like $10. So it made it free shipping. So basically I paid for shipping by buying a shirt. So the after price here, what I pay total, and then per shirt right here. So super, super, super good prices for these shirts. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Yeah, here's this box. It's in a, this random lens end box that the person shipped it in, but we're gonna hop right into this one because this one is gonna be super, super sick. I did already kind of see what's, what's in this because it was all laid out in the bundle, but I'm super excited to actually see what's in here. Yeah, okay, here's what we have in this box. And we're gonna hop right into this because I'm very excited to show you guys these shirts. What we're gonna hop into is this. Show you guys the back first, which is gonna be the better part of it. So it's an extra large, it's on this Hard Rock Cafe Heavy Tea. As you guys can see, this thing is crazy. So Gatlinburg, I'm not really sure what that is, but we got the nice little lizard gecko hit right there. And then on the back, we've got them going down this huge waterfall and their little raft piece. There's a bear waiting for them at the end and that little, that little lizard right there that was on the front. Yeah, he's there too. The next thing we got, show you guys the back first. This is Memphis Hard Rock Tea. So we got a simple little hit on the front. Obviously we got that hot rod all shook up. It looks like it says on the license plate. That's super sick. The colors on this thing are popping. Now something I will say right at the beginning so people know about it is a lot of these shirts. So like if I compare this to the other shirt, white. This one is very yellowed. Another future video that I'm gonna be doing is how to whiten shirts like this. So when you get shirts that are all yellowed like this, how is it possible to whiten them? The same with if it has stains. Now, is it possible to whiten those? I mean, you're gonna have to wait till probably Sunday's video, but I'm definitely gonna be doing a video on that because that's a super high topic of interest. And even just the everyday stain, is it possible to get out? You guys are gonna see. We're hopping into the next piece. This one's pretty sick, nothing on the back. This might be bootleg because it's on this random, like, do monkey looking thing on a sailboat. I don't even, I don't even know what that is, but Hard Art Cafe Budapest, so simple, probably like $10 piece because it might be bootleg, but hop into the next one on another Hard Art Cafe Heavy Tea. I'm gonna make y'all start waiting to see what's on the back. So this one is Las Vegas. So we got like the little casino wheel right there and then the back, super, super sick graphic. The king with the shades on. Again, colors are popping. And we got the, the Hard Rock Cafe hit on the sleeve as well, which is actually on some of the other shirts that I didn't see. But next shirt we got, this one is on another very faded tag. This one is Hard Rock Atlanta. We got the peach, love all, serve all, super sick tea. Got a little stain on the back, which obviously, I'll show you how to get out in the next video. The next one, ooh, wait till y'all see the back of this one. Hard Rock Cafe, New York, and then the back hit. Here's the Statue of Liberty looking like it's on New Year's Eve, which I did go this year to New Year's Eve to the ball drop. That was insane. Didn't get up right to the ball, but, but we know generally how to for future years. So I'll definitely be going back once this COVID-19 stuff is over. <laughs> I'm not going to New York right now. The next one we got is another, looks like Clean Essential on the Hard Rock Cafe tag, extra large. Philadelphia Hard Rock Cafe, truly clean essential, basic. All right, the next piece we got, Ooh, okay, this one's pretty clean to be honest. This is uh, Hard Rock London. So that's super sick in itself, Hard Rock Heavy Tea. And it's the original, so I guess Hard Rock Cafe was founded in London, didn't know that. Got the hit on the sleeve. And got this like shop storefront established in 1971. Super sick. All right, the next one we got another possible bootleg. It's on the Hanes Extra Large, but Hard Rock Cafe Munchen. I think that's in Germany, maybe. I'll put it up right here, but I'm not really sure. But yeah, another clean essential. Looks like New Age Hard Rock Cafe. Got the little hit on the front. It looks like it's a size, size small. So Hard Rock San Antonio, but the back graphic is where this really shines. Makes it even look older than it is. San Antonio. We got the little Texas flag guitar. 
the little shop, the cowboy hat, the gradient on the letters. This is awesome. All right, next location, because that's basically what we're doing. We're just hopping from location to location on these Hard Rock Cafe shirts, but really cool because we're going like around the world with these things, mainly around the US, but we got that London and Munchen. So next one we got is Baltimore. So we got Hard Rock Cafe Baltimore, again on the Hard Rock Cafe Heavy Tea. Looks like this is another extra large in the back. A little factory hit right there. We also got the different color lightning bolts at the top. This thing is dope. The fading and like the like the zoom gradient on the guitar is really cool. And we got like the neon on the guitar as well. And then the next one, ooh, Orlando, Hard Rock Cafe Orlando. We got the little bronze ball right there and on the back. We got Orlando Studios. We got the two guitars at the entrance. The colors are really, really vibrant on this one. Again, Hard Rock Cafe tag. And then, ooh, this one is really cool. I really like this one. So in San Diego, so West Coast, another shirt. And on the back, another really vibrant graphics. Got a couple marks on the front, as you can see. But like I said, we'll go out of how to get those out, hopefully, on the next video. But this one, super vibrant. Hard Rock Cafe, Heavy Tea, another extra large. It seems like these are all extra large, I think. So sadly, probably won't be able to keep any of these because I'm definitely not an extra large, but we've got one last tea in the box. Give you guys a look into it. You guys can take a guess what it is. Show you guys the front. It's Hard Rock Orlando. So this is a really cool graphic for sure. So we've got the alligator chomping up because you know, obviously it's Florida. Got a little space station. We got Shamu doing a little swan dive over there. Got the palm trees poking out of the, the gradient backdrop. This one's gonna go for sure. But that's it in the box. Now just to do a little recap. Got the San Diego, Orlando, staying in the same uh, atmospherical location. Then we got Baltimore. After that, we're going to San Antonio. We got London. Munchen, keeping it on the other side of the world. Then coming way closer to home, Philly. And got Atlanta. So we got another Orlando. I didn't realize we had two of those. Got NYC, the Big Apples, Lady Liberty, welcoming us to this dope t-shirt. Got Vegas. We got Budapest, going across the world again. Bringing it back to the US. We got Memphis. And then last but not least, probably one of my favorites of this, honestly, just a couple stands on the front. We got Gatlinburg, which again, I'm not really sure. Maybe like, I'm gonna guess Virginia just because that sounds like a very Virginia name, but that's all. All of this, for this price, that's only this much per shirt, which is super sick. And I'll probably be able to sell each of these, probably at the minimum, some of them. The bootleg, probably like 10 to 12, but most of these shirts are like 15 to even like $25 shirts for some of these, especially like this one. This is probably like 25 at least. So I'm really happy. I'm probably gonna double, triple my money. Got this brick of clothing that I have to go through. But yeah, I do wanna do a little quick shouts out to my shop. Now look at this. I'm gonna have screenshots right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. This is the new shop. This is the new look that I've been talking about. If you didn't check it out after last video, I don't know what you're doing. And this is on the beginning. And I'm very happy to take you guys through this journey with me. This is all new to me and I'm experiencing all just, just like you are through these videos and through checking out my Depop shop. I love doing this and I love getting this out to customers and seeing the reactions to what they love. Now I also have an Instagram, put it right here. I finally started posting on it. I got everything situated that I wanted to. And I'm gonna start including to messages I sent to people when their order is delivered to, to tag me in their pictures. If you guys ever order from the shop, tag me in your pictures. I really would love to see. This isn't just a marketing thing to like shout out my Instagram. I would love to see how you guys rock these items because especially when I pick up dope items, I love to see what people actually wear. That's why I love selling to friends because I because I then get to go out and see them wear it and see how they would rock it. So if you guys ever buy from me, make sure to tag me in the pictures. But that's the end of this video. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy the content. Just like if you didn't. You do you in the end of the day. Peace out.